Hello guys, Osprey here, and today I've got a super cool tutorial for you. How to copy and paste any build of any size from one world to another world. This tutorial is for the Bedrock version of Minecraft. Bedrock version is Windows 10, Mobile and Console Edition. So if you're on one of these editions, consider hitting that subscribe button. You know, you might learn about the version of the game that you actually play. Also, I'm like super close to 2k subs. 2k subs would be unreal. You will have to create a behavior pack and that has to be done on Windows 10. I have left a link in the description to a template structure pack to make it as easy as possible for you guys to do this. There's going to be a few different parts of this video and the timestamps of those will be in the description and in a pinned comment. Run titles! So here I am, with my eyes closed, so here I am, in a flat world. Imagine you've built a little house in a flat world, in creative maybe, and you want to take it into a regular world. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that now. So with smaller builds, you can just use one structure block, and to get a structure block, all you do is slash give at self structure block, and then press tab until you it so you get one structure block now you want to place it say you place it like this you want to move it now you want to place your structure block so that the box is in the direction of your build then you can go inside and change the parameters of it so if you change this to like 20 um it that's oh no, that's all right 20 and then change this to like 15 and this to 20 and then there you go you get one of these now i can actually um make the z axis so the blue is the z axis the red is the x axis and then the y the green is the y axis like you see the colors there and you see the colors here basically you don't want to just capture the entirety of build so i can turn the z axis down by two by three and once you've got it all selected, you need to come up with a name for it. I'm just going to call it House. Now, bear in mind that the capitalization and the name of this is very important for later on. And then once you do that, you need to hit Save. Now, once you've saved that, you can actually go somewhere else in your world, place down a structure block, go inside of it, type in House, change it to Load Mode, and you'll see that it, it, has, a, it has a box. And then all you literally do from here is just hit Load. And then, there you go, you can copy and paste within the one world, which is pretty cool. But if you want to take it into a separate world, go inside of it, change it to save mode, hit save on it, then hit export. You need to hit save before you hit export. Now what you want to do, you want to save it somewhere, maybe it's your desktop, somewhere memorable basically, and it's going to save it as a .mc structure, and just hit export. Now, if we go to the desktop, there we go, house.mc structure. I'll just put that in the middle of the desktop for later on. Now we can exit off Minecraft, and what you want to do is go into the description of this video and download the behavior pack template that I've created for you all. Now, once it's downloaded, you can put it right next to it, and it should look something like this, structure pack template.zip, and it's a zip folder. What you can do there is um, right-click that, and then click extract all and then it'll just extract into the same place where it exists and here we have it the structure pack template unzipped now if we double click to open this this is what it contains a folder called structure a manifest.json and a pack icon.png so all we literally need to do is take your structure and move it into the structures folder now it's got house.mc structure there and then the rest of the, the joy now what we need to do to get this into game Control A to select all, or you can just highlight them all. Then right click and then click send to zip folder and then just name it like structures.zip. Now, what we need to do is go to view and make sure that file name extensions is turned on so you can see all of the, the name extensions for the file names. And if you press F2 and then change the .zip to .mc pack because 
MC packs are literally just dot zips rename dot MC pack and hit enter and then click yes you sure see now it's openable in Minecraft so just double click this and it will import into the game there we go import started there we go successfully imported structure pla pack now if you kick click play now this pack can be applied to a world which you already have by going into edit then go to behavior packs and then go my packs then apply the structure plot like that and then you'll have to turn off achievements which that, that's kind of fine um or you can create a new world i'm just going to be creating a new world today so we just hit create new world survival and we, we, we want it we want cheats on we want cheats on survival cheats on then you go to behavior packs my packs structure pack add that um call it something like my world that'll do or, or tutorial tutorial no caps now after loading into the world first thing you want to do is do slash game mode c and go into creative mode so then what you want to do is do slash give at self structure block and then place that down to see which orientation it's gonna it's gonna go in so it's actually gonna be facing in this direction you can rotate it I think here would be alright I'm just gonna place that down then type in the word house exactly like it was before hit enter go to load mode and then you see it's showing you how big it's gonna be and literally all you do from here is just click load it gets loaded in your pigs get flooded um, but other than that it's kind of worked you, you just sometimes you do have to do a little bit of terraforming like which is fine you can just you know just terraform that that's fine delete the structure block and there you have your house in the middle of the woods and it, it looks it looks pretty good it does actually look pretty good. You obviously you could move that path. You'd add like a little bridge here or something like that. It would look sick. Um, get rid of this sand. <laughs> but yeah, it, like literally this is that's all you do, and then it's done. Um, pretty pog champ, if you ask me. Now I bet you're wondering what if you've got a big cause. Structure blocks only they only go to a certain size. So if you type in a hundred. See, it only goes to 64. And um, so now what I'm going to do is teach you how to add a bigger build into your world. So see, you've got like a giant server style island kind of floating here. And you want to transfer this to a world. It's pretty big. It's more than 64 blocks wide. So what you would do is get a structure block slash give itself structure underscore block. Place it down and work out which corner it needs to be placed in. So I'm going to go here and um yeah go all the way down to the bottom and then once you're here do slash set block i mean i have to do set block you might not have to do set block and i'm going to just set a stone block underneath where i sit so i've got something to actually put the structure block on now what i do is just type in a hundred to all of these so you could go like full world limit i think with that but i'm just going to go 100 for, for now and then type in 100 to that one say i've selected most of it but i have not selected all of it because it's larger than 64 blocks so in this instance what you do is go to this corner and here run that set block command again and place your structure block there change all these to 100 100 100 well 64 you know what i'm saying and then what you want to do is to create a kind of lattice of um of structure blocks so that when i save this one it'll be contained within that one and also we need to put one there but when i save this one it'll be contained within that one and in that one and then we can load them and save them i mean save them and load them in an order in which it will allow us to load the full structure so i will go i'll change this to 100 change this to 100 this to 100 
And we'll save them, we'll save them soon because they need to be, as I say, they need to be saved in a certain order. And then set, that did not work. Well, I mean it did, but not in the right place. It needs to be inside of the previous structure block. Now we'll change all these to 100. This to 100. And there we go, we've created a kind of like a lattice of structure blocks. Um, that select the full build. Now, this will be the first one to load because it contains everything else inside of it. So it needs to be the last one to be saved. This one is contained in two other ones. So this one needs to be this first to be saved. So we'll just say um, um, spawn. We'll call it spawn one. Then hit save. Then hit export and then once again save it somewhere where you know so we'll just save it in save it in your on your desktop for now we'll save that one there and now these these two need to be so basically the order i'll explain the order the order goes the one at the the one with no structure blocks inside of it gets saved first and then you save the ones that have all of the structure blocks inside of it already saved so this one that one is second also that that one is also second this like this one has all of its structure blocks inside saved that one has all of its structure blocks inside of it saved this one is last because you need to save that one and that one before you save that one and it works like as you add more structure block you just do the exact same thing so um that one has no structure blocks inside of it so it gets saved first this one then you save the ones with the structure blocks inside of it already saved if that makes sense so we'll call that spawn 2 then hit save then hit export you must hit save before you export and then we'll just save that to the desktop and now we're going to go over here and save this one and call this one spawn 3 hit save hit export export it to the desktop once more And then go to this one, call this one. Now we can f save the last one because all of the... This is the usually the first one that you put down that you, that you save last. Unless you've done some crazy planning about where, where, where the structure blocks are going to go. But um, once everything inside of this one has been saved, all the structures inside of this one, we can now save this one. Spawn 4, just call that. And hit save and export to the desktop. Now I'm going to fly up and get a cool screenshot of this because this is quite the screenshot. This will make good for the video thumbnail. Right now, once these have been, once you've got your thumb, your thumbnail, you can move these to the middle of the, the your desktop again. So we've got all the four structure blocks that have been saved there. We can just close that now. And now this, uh, what we can do is just use the exact same structure pack that we added before. So what we do is just, I'll just delete that for now. And then... The structures where we've got the house thing, we can copy all these four into that structures file. Now we just need to do one important step. If we go to manifest.json and click open with notepad, we just need to change the version number. We need to increment the version number up by one so that it realizes it's a new version, right? Now, once that's saved, just do file save or control and S. Um, hit X and now do the same process as before. Select all. Click um, send to zip folder, call it structures.zip, and then rename it to structures.mc pack. And then you're sure. And now we can just double click that and open it up in Minecraft, and it should begin to import. There we go, once more, it has begun to import. Successfully imported. I think I'll change the MC pack. I'll just think I'll change the MC icon. The pack icon, that's what it's called. So if we click play, and now what I can do, I'll just use the exact same world. So we'll go to edit and then go to behavior packs and you'll see that structure pack has been added. Now you might want to like change the name of it, but you can tell the difference. This is like 12 megabytes now and that's only like 0.7 because that's only got a tiny house. This has got like a full spawn of a server in. Then if you activate that, hit continue. Might as well deactivate this one. Might as well just delete that one from your, from your Minecraft really. We've got 12 megabytes of it. Um, that's also a good indication of whether or not it's working or not. It usually, uh, I'll just show you this. Usually, sometimes there's a glitch. Um, one sec. This, 
is zero and that means that you ha usually it means that you haven't clicked save before you've exported but that means that you'll have to do it again if this does ha has no size there so that's a good indication of knowing whether it's worked or not before you put it into the game so then click play once it's activated right so now what we can do we can just do something like pretty similar so if we do set block this is for floating builds you, you probably won't have to do this set block stone just so we'll have something to um, put it on and now go inside of it change it to load mode type spawn one hit enter and you see the box just kind of got insanely bigger and oh no, it, it's spawn four that we need to load first this is important the last one to be saved is the one that needs to be loaded first and um, the, the one with all of the structures inside of it this this is very important i almost made a mistake there the last one to be saved is the first one to be loaded Let's say it louder for those in the back last one to be saved is the first one to be loaded now because we didn't add structure void blocks to the bottom of the bill these trees will be deleted because it contains air inside of the save but that's fine so if we just click load boom there we go. And now lava's gonna spill down. Lava's gonna spill down. <laughs> oh well, the tree's gonna set on fire, but that's fine. For all purposes, that is fine. Now the, the second ones, the it does need to be loaded in order. These ones are next. Right? The, the ones that were second to be saved need to be loaded second. And then change it to load, change it to load mode. Hit load these should all be right they should all have the correct information in and then the final one you see there's still a chunk of the server missing the 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 it's a the the, the forest is about to be set on fire um yeah and where's the final one ah it's here i'm so skilled at minecraft this one then change it to load mode and hit load and the final one has been loaded in and there you have a giant build a mega structure if you will being transferred into a different world pretty pretty cool pretty cool and the forest is burning down <laughs> oh god it's kind of sad to see this massive wall of lava it will dissipate eventually that's just a quirk of this particular build though and then what you would do is go about delete your structure blocks so the lattice thing disappears and then you pretend all your friends that you've built it in survival <laughs> you could do that i guess it's kind of sus though <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed the video please consider subscribing it's took us a while to work on this and um, i've got more cool videos like this in the future and also I, I do a lot of pvp so if you're into pvp i mean clicking this video you're probably into command blocks and stuff but but if you're into pvp i'm, I'm I, I, I click over 10 cps so that's pretty cool <laughs> um so yeah guys and also like and subscribe and sell your soul to the devil to buy bits to donate to me. <laughs> um, yeah, guys, it's been real. Bye. Love you.